This is the 2020 Toyota Avalon Hybrid Limited. We'd like to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful car for our review today. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And today, Nate, tell the folks what we're gonna take a look at. Today, we are looking at the 2020 Toyota Avalon Hybrid Limited. That's right, but before we do, if you wanna keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, SUVs, and you wanna know how to use all the infotainment that's built into these cars, plus you like cool collector car stories, take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification on top so you never miss a video. That's right, so what do you say, Nate? Oh, let's go for let's a ride. Go for a ride. Okay, taking a ride in the 2020 Toyota Avalon Limited Hybrid. And boy, oh boy, I, and I'll get to drive this time because I when got to the dealership, I almost just kind of ran he in cheated. there. <laughs> I ran in there, I almost knocked down the uh, owner and general manager, but I was excited to drive this car today because, you know, we've done some hybrid comparisons in the past, but I've never driven an Avalon. Nope, and, neither. Uh, it's, it's a real, it's a big car. And it's a nice car, and I got to drive it out to the spot where we, we set up to do our, our drive and our videos. And I got to tell you, Nathan, boy, oh boy, uh, quiet. Yeah, I, just the sound level. I mean, I, we're, I, we can both tone it down quite a bit, and I'm sure it's being picked up because it's very, very quiet in here. Anyway, so the acceleration was good. It wasn't like throw you in the back, towards the back of your seat fast. Uh, but it was confident and it was very linear and it was a very very good pull to it um, You know, we've talked about that and you know, there are a lot of safety systems involved in this one of my favorite uh, is the um, Was it dynamic cruise control, right? That's yep. what it's called. Okay, the, the, the dynamic cruise control uh, It's got cameras. It's got blind spot warning. It's got uh, reverse and forward sensors and all that and so much more I'll cover on my outside review and then Nathan will show you a lot of those things uh, on the inside and how to see them, how to turn them on and turn them off and access them and all that. So that's going to be really cool. Um, interior fit and finish, I really do like the, if it's not real wood, uh, I got to tell you, that's some mighty fine plastic tree they got there because the wood that's on the dashboard, it, it looks real wood and it's that open pour. Yeah, uh, nice. so it's a, more of a matte finish. It's very nice. All the plastics fit together well. Uh, it's all nicely cushioned. I like the X pattern stitching in the door panels. Absolutely beautiful in here. The one knock I would put on it is that um, I'm not a big fan of the color combination being that it's a gray car and the interior is multi-tone gray. My personal preference, I know it's it's a good combination, it looks fine, it's just not my personal preference. So, but other than that, it you know, it's an absolutely beautiful car in here. I like where the screen is laid out. Everything you see here is just all nicely laid out and detailed. It's 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 really quite nice. So I'm gonna pause for a minute You're and I'll let Nathan take over and uh, he'll talk to you about a few things. All right, well, I can just tell you from sitting in the passenger seat while Rob was driving, it is an extremely comfortable ride. It is quiet, and it is um, very comfortable. Seat, the seats are nicely designed. Very, very comfortable seats. All right, so getting in and out of this is, is easy. The car is kind of, um, it's fairly low to the ground, so easy to step into. Um, it has uh, wide wide doors, front and rear are both very easy. See you later. I'm going way back here. Because <laughs> he's going to slide out of view pretty soon. Uh, one of the things that I do like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, of the infotainment systems that sort of stick up like a separate uh, device. 
But on this car, even though it has that type of screen, first of all, it's integrated into the whole center console. And secondly, they've raised the dashboard above the top of the screen, so it looks much more like it's meant to be there. Right, more and, integrated into yep, it. And yep, I, and I like that. It doesn't look like it's sticking out. And actually, it flows kind of nicely here. It's like a little waterfall effect all yep. down to your cup holders and out to the back of the console. So it's pretty artistic as well. Yeah, and you will see that uh, on the interior review. And, and that's so that, that's something I really like. Uh, most everything is controllable from your steering wheel. Uh, if you want physical buttons, there's plenty of them to control climate um, or stuff on the uh, infotainment uh, system. So in terms of parking, um, this would not be a difficult vehicle to park. It has the rear view camera. It's got the uh, backup sensors mm -hmm. and that has dynamic swivel guidelines. So it makes it very easy to, you know, to, to get into a parking lot. I'm pretty confident in the steering and the feel and also pretty tight in the t steering turning circle. And I have not taken it in a circle, so I'm not, I don't see that. But um, I can tell you that, you know, between, there's three different modes, eco sport, eco normal and sport. And there is a there is a different handling dynamic mm -hmm. between, especially between normal and, and sport. Right. Um, normal is more like comfort. Um, so yeah, this is very 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 nice. Um, boy, I like it. it. It is really quiet, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. And I like the seats. I, I I can feel the side bolsters left and right, mm -hmm. but they're not obnoxiously obtrusive. They're just enough just, to remind you that you're being held right just enough so all right well coming up next my outside review with uh, horsepower specs styling dimensions and then later nathan will take you for a tour on the interior and like i said we are cutting a separate detailed video it's the how to of the information system not the information sister <laughs> I'm not the one who's called. It said Avalon had a sister. So keep if watching. If you know who Avalon's oh. sister is, let us know in the comments. Camry. <laughs> Little sister. Little sister. There you go. When describing the new Avalon, Toyota starts with two words, authenticity and exhilaration. Uh, well, both were applied in every area of Avalon's sophisticated essence and throughout the four available grades. Uh, the Athletic XSE, which is all new, and the Touring, as well as the more opulent XLE and Limited. Uh, there are several different grades, really cool cars. These cars were beautifully designed in Michigan, yet built in Kentucky. This is the 2020 Toyota Avalon Hybrid Limited, presented here in Celestial Silver Metallic, with a gray graphite interior, stickered at 45,255. This is a hybrid engine, so it is a 2.5 liter dynamic force, four cylinder, double overhead cam, 16 valve, dual injection with VVT-IE, VVT-I with Echo, Normal, Sport, and EV. And it's a it vehicle is rated as a super ultra low emission vehicle. Now total is 176 horsepower, 163 pound foot of torque. The electric motor output is 118 horsepower, 149 pound foot of torque. All driven by an electronically controlled variable transmission, which is an ECVT, with sequential shiftmatic mode. Now out front you do have the fully uh, automatic aero composite LED high and low beams. Also you do have daytime running lamps with the delay off and you also have the dynamic auxiliary turn signals and cornering lamps. Now for the limited models each headlight is comprised of thin lighting modules. Uh, one for low beams, another for high plus an adaptive LED cornering lamp and dynamic auxiliary turn signals. I know that's a lot, that's a mouthful, sorry about that, but it's, it's really cool technology. You do see you do have the body colored front bumper, you have the uh, front chrome grill surround with a dark gray insert, and it does have an active grill shutter. And on each side of the front bumpers, there are aerodynamic front tangential vents. Now these are crafted uh, to effectively 
uh, for the effective direction of air passing across the front tires and along the, the flanks of the Avalon, helping it with its aerodynamics. There's also up front, you have the acoustic noise reducing windshield, as well as driver and front passenger side windows. Let's take a walk around the side, take a look out there. Now this is a unitized body with uh, front and rear anti-vibration subframes and it does have an independent McPherson strut front suspension with coral springs and stabilizer bar and on the back it is multi-link rear suspension with uh, coral springs and stabilizer bar. Now it also does have regenerative four-wheel disc brakes after all it is hybrid uh, and those are four-wheel ABS that are power assisted and ventilated, 11.65 inches in the front, 11 inch uh, solid rear disc out back. Now the wheels are 18 by eight super chrome alloy wheels wrapped in P235 45R18 all season tires. Okay, this does have the body colored door handles and you do have the touch sensor to lock and unlock. You also have the body colored power heated auto dimming side mirrors with manual folding and they also have the integrated turn signal indicators. This does have remote keyless entry, perimeter approach lights and uh, on this particular vehicle you do have the chrome side window trim and belt line trim. It also does have lightly tinted glass. Now along the bottom here I like this uh, it's a distinctively carved lower rocker panel right behind the front wheels and it visually exemplifies the benefits of uh, Toyota's new global architecture platform. You see um, the new body is made from uh, body lines that are complex surfaces with deep draw panels and distinguishable sculptured forms. Uh, now, and the door handles now coincide with its bold character line right through here. That's a really cool look. And um, it just lends to the, the actual visible motion, visual motion of this car moving along down the road. Now, some of the safety features are ABS, driveline traction uh, control, uh, impact beams aside, blind spot monitor, pre-collision system warning, rear, tra rear traffic alert, lane departure alert. It has 10 airbags, whiplash injury, lessening front seats, <laughs> safety connect, Toyota safety sense, and much, much more. Nathan will show you some of those uh, safety features on the tour of the inside as well. Let's take a look out back. Okay, out back you do have the body colored rear bumper and it does have the little bit of black rub strip down below. Uh, it also has um, this nice carryover here of this uh, reflector strip that has the Avalon name in it as well. I like that. It does have LED tail lights that are three dimensional and they're an aero fin design that integrate the reverse stop and turn signals into a single fluid form and we'll show you that in a quick little video. You do have the chrome badge letters and single exhaust uh, hidden underneath, uh, underneath the body of the vehicle. Show you, oh, I just unlocked it. I wanted to kind of just pop it and show you the trunk here. Inside the trunk it is 16.1 cubic feet. Now this does have underneath the uh, little panel here, you've got your tool kit and you have your, um, your uh, small spare tire as well. It is not a power lift gate. It is not a power uh, close. It is a manually adjusted close. You can also see you've got your rear view camera there. Give you a little idea if you can see that on the camera there, the 3D shape of those uh, tail lights. It's really cool. I like that arrow blade look and arrow blade design. All right, let's talk about dimensions. Okay, maximum width on this vehicle, not including the mirrors, is 72.8 inches. It rides on a wheelbase of 113 inches. Its overall length is 195.9 inches. The height is 56.5 inches. Front track, 62.3. Rear track, 63.6. It does have a ground clearance of 5.3 inches and a turning diameter of 38.7 feet. Curb weight, 3,750 uh, pounds, 13.2 gallon fuel tank, and as I said before, it does have a 16.2 uh, trunk capacity. Now, safety. IIHS overall rating of good. 
National Highway Traffic Safety Administration overall rating of five stars. Performance. 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds, 0 to 100 in 19.6 seconds, standing quarter mile, 16 seconds at 91 miles per hour. Braking from 70 to 0, 176 feet. As far as appearance goes, Avalon's exterior is longer, lower, and wider than before. From its slim LED projector headlights to its simple horizontal character lines across the back. The Toyota Avalon embodies consumers' overarching desire for high caliber design centric, technologically savvy modes of attainable premium transportation. And it is, it's a really nice car. Now, dependability, Toyota, but you want to know information about the warranty. 36 months, 36,000 miles. Drivetrain warranty, 60 months, 60,000 miles. Hybrid electric warranty, 96 months, 100,000 miles. Economy is 43 city, 43 highway, and 43 combined. So up next, Nathan's going to take you for a tour on the inside of the vehicle and show you all the features built into it. And later, we're going to do a specific detailed video showing you how to use the infotainment system on this particular car. So stay tuned. Stepping in the inside of the 2020 Avalon Hybrid, I love this quilted leather on the door. And I love the contrasting uh, light gray with the dark gray plastics. And you do have auto up and down, all four windows, your window lockout and your lock controls, and then your mirror adjustments, as well as a two person memory setting for the seat. Hey, we do have one of the JBL speakers right here. This is a 14 speaker sound system. And then down here you have ample storage and a bottle holder. The seats themselves are 12 way power, including four position lumbar. And the seats are leather covered. They are perforated, heated and ventilated. Very comfortable seats. This kind of give you a shot of the general interior here in the front. You can see that inf infotainment screen, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I love how it is, looks like it's, it's just all one piece instead of look like an add-on. Just really like that. All right, down here, you have your uh, hood release right here. And then up here, you have got your trunk release, you've got your fuel cap, fuel release, you've got your camera view button, you got your heated steering wheel, traction control, and your auto lights on or off. And then your odometer and trip meter reset right here, as well as your dashboard brightness and dimness settings. The steering wheel is power, tilt, and telescope. All right, let's step in and give this thing a start. Okay, so let's give it a start here. This is push start. I love how um, the dashboard starts up. It says Avalon on the driver's information center. Okay. All right. So basically you have um, analog gauges left and right. You have got a digital driver's information display with customizable information in the center. You do have a, a heads up display. And then uh, over here on the left, you have cursor controls that will control your driver's information center, a back button, a phone button, voice command for your navigation, and also if you press and hold for Siri on an iPhone, and then your volume control for your, me uh, your media. Over on the right, you have your cruise control, and this does have dynamic stop and go cruise control. Hey, over here you have a like a skip forward, skip backward, uh, you do have a mode button for your infotainment screen. And then you've got some of the safety systems up front here on the side. Okay, moving over. Uh, one of the things that I just really like about this, typically these look like they're, uh, they, they stick out, like they're an add-on. But in the Avalon, they've created this whole system. It's just a, like a, kind of like a waterfall. It just flows right down. And because for me, at least from my vantage point, this appears lower than the dashboard. And so it looks like it's meant to be there. And, and I like how they've done that. Okay. Uh, on the infotainment screen, it is a nine inch screen. It is 1200 watts of power. 
and it has 14 speakers including a subwoofer and oh man does it sound great uh, over here we've got lots of physical control so basically you've got home menu audio map power on off volume tune and scroll an app button phone button and then track forward or track backward for radio or um, um, Sirius XM satellite. Okay, moving on down, we've got the climate control system. This is a dual zone auto climate control. Uh, you do have your hazard buttons up here. You've got heated and cooled seats on both sides, three stages. Okay, and then your typical physical buttons that you would find on um, a climate control. The one nice thing I like about this is that the sync button is physical. You don't have to go on the infotainment screen for it. All right, moving down a little bit further, uh, over here, this is an area where you can set things on top of. However, if you push it, you will discover that you have a wireless phone charger right down here. And again, they put a power button down there. So in case you don't want something that's metal or charging or whatever, you can turn off that feature and just store things in there. And again, it's nicely spring loaded and comes right back into place. Okay, down here, of course, is your shift control. Uh, if you bring it all the way down to drive and crank it to the left, you do have a sport mode where you can manually shift. And then over here, you have illuminated cup holders in the front. Okay. These buttons right here are for your driving modes right here. So you have eco, normal, and sport. Okay. You've got an auto auto hold feature. So when you if that's engaged and you press the brake, uh, the brake will stay activated until you press the accelerator. And you've got an EV mode if you want. And then an electronic parking brake right here. All right, moving back to the storage in the center console. If I push this button, you get a nice, slow, cushioned rise. Okay. And then inside here, you do have uh, a plug-in, a USB plug-in to your Apple CarPlay. Uh, and you have a 3.5-millimeter uh, audio jack as well. And then you have two 2.1-amp charging ports for other devices. Hey, this tray right here is removable, and then you have some very deep storage, and it is felt lined. It's very, very nice. Okay, moving over to the glove compartment. Just a push button here. And it, it's a dampened opening, which I really like. It is not felt lined, but its ample storage is quite deep way back here. So a lot more storage than it looks like. Moving on up here, this does have uh, a sunroof on it, so you do have an open and close buttons, nicely labeled, so it's easy to see. You can put the uh, sunroof just up or down instead of backwards. And, um, and then up here, you have your all your lighting controls for the interior, and then you have up here, mood lighting. So, interesting way to label that. Never seen them label it mood lighting. Okay, up here in the visors, you have uh, dual lights. And if you open up, you got in the mirror and then the lights come on. They are also telescoping on both driver and passenger sides. All right, uh, the passenger seat is the same as the driver's. It's 12-way power, including a four-way uh, four lumbar. All right, let's step into the back and take a look at it. All right, so stepping on the inside uh, of the back of the Avalon, um, you're gonna uh, notice the same uh, color patterns on the doors and the speaker down here. Um, you've got auto up and down windows and then a tweeter up here and then a more mid-range speaker down here as well as bottle storage down here or whatever you'd wanna store in there. Um, I do like how Avalon has covered all the carpet from the seat all the way down to where the feet are with plastic. Uh, it's a nice dark black plastic, but it, you know, keeps it's hard to vacuum in that area sometimes, so that's nice to see. All right, so stepping in, you're going to see that stepping in is really easy, and it's equally easy in the front. Okay, so in terms of just space back here, I had the seat adjusted to where I had it when I was up front. I literally have like eight inches of room. It's just a ridiculous amount. It's just, it's really nice. And then in terms of headroom, Headroom's a little tighter. 
I but I have I'm not scraping as long as my hair isn't hitting and I'm not scraping and no comments about my <laughs> lack of hair either. All right, I, I, but I'm not. I mean, I can move my head around and I'm not feeling my hair hit. Okay, this is comfortable for me. This is very comfortable. I'm five foot eleven and a half, so I fit very nicely back here. Okay, you have dual seat pockets behind the driver and passenger seat. Down here, you do have heated rear seats. So they are one stage, but boy, is it nice to have those heated seats in the rear. And then of course you have two USB charging ports right here, as well as your air vents that come through the center console and there are air vents underneath the seats as well. Okay, and then right here, you've got a center armrest, which you can pull down. And you have some storage right here, would be good for a phone some cup holders, and then just a nice place to rest your arm. In case you need it, all four doors have grab handles. And then in the center, you do have your reading lights, which are LED for both outboard seats. So overall, just a beautiful interior, very comfortable seats and very spacious. So make sure to watch uh, our next video on this car, and that is a detailed uh, tech video on all the stuff that's on the dashboard, all the stuff that's on the infotainment, uh, the climate control, all that stuff will be included in detail on that video. So if you want to know how to operate those or what they do, watch that video. All right, so my favorite thing is this feature, where you turn on the little camera button and the car rotates around to give you a 360 view of what's around your car. Even better than that is this particular image where it ghosts out the entire car. Just kind of shows you the outline of the body and then the tires. I think that's a fantastic safety feature. I love how, to, how uh, Toyota has done this. Just absolutely phenomenal. Okay, and my favorite thing on this car is the detail of the stitching on the door panels. I like that quilted detail uh, design. Looks really formal, makes it really look luxurious. My favorite thing. And then we'll just turn it back to the dealer and that'll be the rest of the review. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, detailed review on the infotainment sister system how-to video. The so my first question though yeah. is who is Avalon's sister? <laughs> uh, it does have on the front end you have McPherson fr McPherson step tip for high caliber design centric technology tech 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 I can't